Hello folks and welcome to your afternoon YDOT video weather briefing on this Wednesday, the 15th of March. I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Mark Huer. We will be seeing decreasing high winds on I-80 from Laramie to Rollins and South Pass as we work our way through the rest of this Wednesday. That's some good news. Also just light to some moderate snow through the rest of today with mainly light snow and snow showers then tonight and into early Thursday. Blustery northwest winds for tomorrow into Friday, but no high wind events. And while we will be seeing a colder than average weather pattern for late this week and the weekend, it'll be mostly dry and also a non-windy weather pattern through the weekend. So what can we expect through the rest of this Wednesday and into your Wednesday night? Here in the yellow dashed area, we'll be looking at some cold and blustery overnight winds out of the northwest, 15 to 25 some gusts to 30 to 35. That'll create a little bit of some blowing snow in conjunction with the light snow and snow shower activity. Otherwise, across the state, like the breezy winds and throughout the state, we'll be looking a little bit of some light snow and snow shower activity through the blue shade areas. So the entire state, it will not be amounting to much. We'll generally be looking at about a trace to one inch of new snow from the scattered areas of light snow and snow shower activity tonight with one to three inches of possibility for our mountain passes and higher elevation roads. And out here in the far east and southeast, we will be looking at the possibility of some rain showers even late this afternoon on through this evening. And throughout the state, the light snow and snow shower activity and currently some wet roads that'll be freezing will lead to some slick conditions and also some black ice tonight. Two to five inches of new snow up in the Big Horns. Two to four inches across the higher elevation roads that are open here in South Central Wyoming. And there will be some areas of fog in our western and southwestern valleys, including the Green River Basin, Teton Valley, possibly sections of the Wind River Basin, and maybe to a lesser extent, portions of the Big Horn Basin. For your Thursday, weather conditions really not bad. Here out in the east and southeast, along and east of about the Big Horns and Laramie Range, we'll be looking at daytime. Northwest winds still 15 to 25, gusts of 35 to 45. A little bit of a raw March day for tomorrow, but then light to breezy overnight winds. Off to the west of the yellow dashed area, looking at light the breezy winds through the day. It'll be a breeze out of the north northwest. Going to be cold though. Highs just 20s, the low 30s statewide and throughout the blue shade area. We will be looking a little bit of some additional mainly AM light snow and snow shower activity. Could pick up another trace to one inch possibly with maybe one to three up here in the Bighorns yet on Thursday. And there will be some slick and icy roads, especially in the morning hours on Thursday. Here in the far west, dry to mostly dry and cold, light winds and areas of fog and temperatures, folks, here for your Thursday, right on through Sunday. will generally be running about 10 to 15 degrees below average. Specifically, what are we looking at for road weather impacts? It looks like on Thursday, well, out here in the far east and southeast. Very minimal impacts, but could see some slick spots and a little black ice early in the morning this Thursday. Throughout the rest of the state in the yellow shade areas, looking at some AM slick roads, some black ice possibly, a few PM slick spots, lower elevations. Otherwise, by your Thursday afternoon, slick conditions being confined to the higher elevations. And there will be some AM and overnight valley and low-lying fog. Some of it could be locally dense. So we might see some moderate impacts from that as well. But overall, winter weather conditions are improving and likewise travel conditions across the state as we head into Thursday and the following few days. Thanks for watching today and we'll talk to you tomorrow.